Now, the thing that tells me this is a good song is I can't get that out of my, I can't get those parts out of my head. At least, and the other one, which I was just playing two chords, E, E. I forgot that I'd already written a song, or written part of a song that uses that. So it's E, uh, A sharp, C flat, whatever. Because I'm just barring it. I'm not, you know, in the music, I'm not playing it correctly, I'm just that. But I'm also... Make a song heavier, and you're just barring chords, and you're like, <laughs> all you gotta do is bar everything, bar the low, bar the low E. This is the simplest, easiest trick I learned way back in the beginning with, like Craig Turner, I think, taught me that one. You bar everything to make it heavier. So when you're doing like an E, it air all the strings. embryo is growing the embryo is now growing the embryo is growing knowing no one knowing what it will turn grow to be or whatever Gary uh, Gary Hunsick Hunsicker Hunsicker I don't want to mispronounce your last name dude but you're big help he's the only one that really commented and was a help so I'm like okay he obviously likes it someone does Everybody, I know it's the week, you know, it's 4th of July. Hey, it's 4th of July right now. And I'm, I've blown it off. My family all took off, left without me. I'm like, you don't want to come? Aren't you going to be alone? I want to be alone. Believe me, I want to be alone. Because this is the only chance I get to jam. And think. So, let's just go out. <laughs> Harmonic, because he's the only one that would 
play that chord and then do the harmonic and it. I think it's on the first album, the very first Quiet Rhino. All right, there you go, bud. Even though Randy's gone and Eddie's still clinging to life in a bottle, uh, you know, Eddie keeps churning out stuff. There's nothing really new, but what he did is he compacted the guitar. It's the same scale as most, you know, guitars are. It's just very small, like him. Dude, when him and my mom were talking, same height. So he's like five, five, six, five, 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 six, five, seven, I don't know. So, that's so weird that he meet my mom. And I met him several times with, when they met. Then I got into every show after that. And that was cool because that's when they got back Dave. And all I care about is Dave. Sammy, it's Dave. David Lee Roth, Van Halen. Everything else was pop puke with keyboards. Dave comes back. He doesn't have his hair and his screaming voice, but the band walked right back into where they started. And they go, but they were using old demos. Everybody uses old demos. The past two Kiss albums are old demos, mostly, if you have all the demos that, you know, if you're a big Kiss fan, which I'm not anymore. I'm a fan up to 79. I count Creatures, too until they but I thought Creatures with Vinnie Vincent was the most the best show until they got to LA and Motley Crue opened and they'd been training for months literally training body training rehearsal like crazy Nicky had to know how to play the bass for real and he, he had gotten it down by then it was it was 82 end of 82 so it was like it was gonna happen in 83, they broke. They opened the Us Festival, and Mo uh, Shout Out the Devil came out in 84, right? 83, 84. So Motley Crue in 80. All I remember is I used to hand out tons of buttons. I bet you none of you in Burbank, I have them. It said Motley Crue in 82. Motley Crue in 82. I had thousands of them. Buttons, stickers, everything. Motley Crue in 82. And then 83 was the devil. And then they went through their devil. And then they went through each stage. And that's when I started thinking, I'll stick to something. But at the end, they could gather all their different goofy phases. You know, theater of pain could have been great, but was just a heroin song, a heroin album. Not because Nicky was writing the music. Mick was writing the music. Mick was, uh, was in pain. He'd already had this glondolicklick idiotis. <laughs> he told me the name of it when he, he's, you know, when he was 28 and I was whatever, 17, 16, 17. He told me, you know, how old he was. The only thing he wouldn't tell me is exactly how he modified his Marshall, which I didn't care because I found out any ways from his uh, roadie, which turned out to be pretty much what everybody was doing. Oh, and that's it. Bye.